This excursion was really enjoyable. The plane left from a small airport, flew past Darwin to the outback, where it landed on a narrow strip of water, before making its way to a floating jetty. The initial standard boat ride along the river was a pleasant, if tame, introduction. The meal was pretty good though, and we did pass some interesting cobwebs. Life then became more interesting aboard the airboat, which was able to penetrate the bush along a narrow creek. We were given buoyancy aids to wear, but we were also warned not to fall in the water anyway. Nobody did. Taking the optional helicopter ride was an exhilarating experience. It was also a windy experience. The helicopter doesn't have doors. After arriving in Darwin, I'd visited a travel agent and explained I didn't want anything too touristy, such as a visit to a honey farm or fudge factory. Outback floatplane adventures were strongly recommended. I'm pleased I took their advice. Despite appearing relatively expensive and only lasting half a day, for me it turned out to be excellent value for money. Also, unlike Kakadu, Litchfield and Catherine Gorge, which were also worth visiting, tourists on this adventure were scarce. Only us, in fact. I hadn't actually planned to make this video, so I only had the camera on my phone to work with. But as the experience was so enjoyable, I decided to produce this short introduction anyway, as a thank you to the staff at Outback Floatplane Adventures.